Modern versions of Windows sort of come pre-installed with Python, but Microsoft kind of complicated things, especially for beginners. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Python 3 on Windows. Let me first show you how Microsoft made things confusing. So let's open a command prompt and type in Python 3 dash dash version, which oddly returns nothing. Doing a where Python 3 shows a Python executable at this path. And if we execute Python 3, it opens the Microsoft Store with the option to download Python 3.7. While it's certainly valid to install this version of Python, which as you can see here does indeed work as expected, I want you to know that at the time of this video, the latest version of Python is 3.10. So Microsoft is pointing you to an older version of Python that is at least a few years old. If you're following along and want a newer version of Python, let's first go into system settings to uninstall the older version and then come up to app execution aliases and turn off all the app installers for Python. Now, when we try Python 3 dash dash version on the command line, we see the expected Python 3 is not recognized as a command message. And similarly, where Python says it's not installed. Probably the best way to install Python 3 on Windows is with the official installer. So open a web browser and go to python.org slash downloads and click this button to download the latest version. When the download finishes, open the installer. You can customize the installation here, but defaults are fine for most people. The only option that will change is to select the add Python to environment variables option and then click on install. After a few moments, we can close out of everything and confirm that Python 3 is installed by opening another command prompt window and doing Python 3 dash dash version. But wait, that's not what we expected. It turns out that the installer only installs a python.exe executable, which does indeed show that Python version 3.10.7 is installed. If you want Python 3.exe for whatever reason, a quick hack is to simply make a copy of python.exe and rename it to python 3.exe. And now you'll have that working too. Now that you have Python installed, watch my Python 101 video next, which will teach you some of the most basic concepts in Python programming.